I'm Saurav Shahi and my university ID is 12063824 and today my group is going to present a group video about the analyzing strategy of Nepal Telecom and my group members are as follows. I'm going to give a brief introduction about Nepal Telecom. As we all know that Nepal Telecom is a public owned organization. It is the number one organization of Nepal and currently it is also the highest taxpayer of our country. The managing director of Nepal Telecom is Mr. Amarnath Singh. The products and services provided by Nepal Telecom are as follows. It provides mobile services such as GSM, CDMA, HSPC and all the landline phones in the valley. It also provides mobile internet services such as 3G, GPRS and cellular data. And currently Nepal Telecom is the highest internet service provider of Nepal. It provides internet services such as ADSL, MMS and YMAX. The major competitor of Nepal Telecom is Encel. We all know that Encel is a private owned organization. And it is also the highest market share in Nepal, only next to Nepal Telecom. The chief executive officer of Encel is Basi Koistinen. The products and services provided by Encel are as follows. It provides broadband internet and IT network services. It also provides mobile internet services such as 3G, GPR, cellular data, similar to Nepal Telecom. And lastly, it provides fixed line internet services and email voice phone services. Nepal Telecom is going to launch new WiMAX services which are free WiMAX data and it is also coming out with a corporate business plan for corporate people and lastly Nepal Telecom is going to launch free video call and I'm coming out with a I is one two zero six three eight two seven. I'm going to analyze the pistol factor and their impacts on Nepal Telecom Corporation. First, political factor. As NTC is a state-run company, the political impact is high. Uh, political impact is high due to the country's current unstable political situation. Uh, the industry is facing the problems like delaying new projects and their investment, slow decision making, inappropriate policy changes and changes in the strategy. However, the company is also getting the special incentive from the government. Now, I'm going to talk about the economic factor. Uh, I'm going to talk about the economic factor. The economic factor mainly includes the GDP trends, interest rate, money, money supply and inflation rate. As Nepal is a developing country and the GDP trend of Nepal is increasing, it's implied the purchasing power of people are also increasing. Due to the high uh, inflow of remittance, the disposable income of people has also increased, which provides opportunity, uh, which provides opportunity for big industry like telecommunication. Now I'm going to talk about the social factor. The social factor includes the cultural aspect of society, population growth, demographics, lifestyle, lifestyle changes, etc. Due to the various cultural and ethnic trends existing in the country, Nepal Telecom Corporation have to change its management strategies management strategies strategy to adapt with these trends. The company have to include the people from all areas and occupation. occupation. Now I'm going to talk about the technological factor. The technological factor include the total government spending for research and development, total industry spending for research and development, focus on technological efforts, new innovation, uh, new innovation uh, are the technological factor. Technological advances like ADSL, 3G, optical fiber, use of high quality equipment has made the NTC more competitive than their uh, more competitive than their rival NTC uh, NCL. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the legal factor. The legal factor includes governing bodies, uh, provision of know your customer, restriction in the distribution of SIM card, and finally the environmental factor. Finally the environmental factors include the ecology and geographical factors areas such as natural resources, endowments, weather, climate condition and also include the environmental issues. Due to the mountains and inappropriate land structure, the telecom is facing the problem uh, in building new towns and starting the office. One two zero six three eight two two. I would like to describe about the internal analysis of Nepal Telecom. Uh, I would like to talk about the main things as this model. Developing that uh, early 1980s by the Tom Google and Robert Matter Waterman, two consultants working in McKinsey and company consulting firm. It uh, uh, helps organization to improve the performance of company. Examination the likely effects of future changes within the company and align department of process during merger or acquisition. Determine how to implement the purpose strategy. And now I would like to talk about the service model of the Nepal Telecom. And the first one I would like to talk about the service model. And the first three models are the hard elements, and the other four models are the soft elements. The hard elements are easy to identify and define. And soft elements are difficult to identify and called in place by the organization culture. Talking about the strategy, retaining customer broadly, uh, 
uh, and progressive and customer oriented, time consuming in system making is the weaknesses of uh, this strategy. Talking about restructure, killer chain of command and on pillar roles and responsibility for mid level staffs and managers. Uh, talking about the system, implement in the manpower, management and machines. And uh, weaknesses are late adaptation of new technology, problems in handling customer complaints. Talking about the uh, skills, staffs are high experience and, on, uh, and, the, and the weaknesses are on familiar with the modern technologies. Talking about the styles, leaders are very experienced, but as we know, weaknesses is uh, that unitary leaders, uh, only the some people are very familiar with these unitary leaders. Talking about the staffs, more than 7,000 employees uh, are, are, and trainings, facilities are available, uh, and uh, weaknesses are staffs are people and uh, staffing training cost is high as well. And finally, I would like to talk about the shared values that is commitment to, pro to provide nationwide telecommunication services at very low cost. And the weaknesses are ethnocentric beliefs that one person feels the superiority of the of oneself. Thank you. And my uh, one of the ideas, one, two, three, six, three, 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 three. I'm going to show this answer analysis of Nepal Telecom. This is the foreign market complex of Nepal Telecom industry. NDC covers with 35%. Various answer covers with 48%. Similarly, 70% is covered by the other telecoms industries such as Util and Hello, Hello Nepal, respectively. Both the answer and NC are the major players in the field of telecoms industry in Nepal. Uh, this is the financial report of Nepal Telecom from the fiscal year 2009 to 2012. As you can see, that total income is increasing. Also, the total cost. Is also increasing due to the high overhead cost. The following data shows the increasing trend of net profit of Nepal Telecom for three years. That is 2009 to 2012. Thank you. Hi, this is Narendra Sapoda. I'm an automated IT number 1236383. After using the external and internal analytical tools such as digital and matrix analysis. I am going to use common and close analysis to analyze the strategy of Nepal Telecom. First of all, let's talk about the strength of Nepal Telecom. The economic scale is the main strength of Nepal Telecom and it has got active management team and it has manipulated price so that it has got strength in this street. And also it has got strong brand name, which is the main strength of Nepal Telecom. And it is following sustainable business model so that we can sustain the market for a long period of time. And let's talk about the weakness of Nepal Telecom. Uh, the main weakness of Nepal Telecom is the high overhead cost due to the high number of employees. And uh, due to the, as being a public company, their adaptation of new technology is the main weakness of Nepal Telecom. And uh, customers are complaining about the low quality customer service and low single strength. And uh, it's the main weakness of Nepal Telecom. And let's talk about the opportunities of Nepal Telecom. It can grab opportunities in technological advancement by producing new products and services in the market. And it can also expand its market in the rural area by which it can remain competitive in the market. And talking about the threats of Nepal Telecom, it is facing high competition from Nepal itself. And due to the shrinking economy of Nepal's economy, it is also being affected, and due to the increasing rules and regulation, it has got threats. And also, health related problems are also becoming the threats of insulin. And let's talk about the ESO strategy, strength and opportunity strategy. In this quadrant, Nepal Telecom can grab opportunities by using its brain. For example, it can focus on quality service. And let's talk about the double strategies, weakness and opportunity strategies. And this can minimize weakness by utilizing its opportunities such as cutting costs, constructing towers in rural areas, and it is introducing new services in the market. And let's talk about the history strategies, strength and threat strategies. The NTC can generate strategies by utilizing its strength to avoid threats by the use of leverage use of R&D and marketing to compete this way. Next, WT strategies, weakness and threat strategies. The NTC can generate strategies that minimize weakness and avoiding threats such as cutting, overhead, cost and increase single strain. Hence we can conclude that Nepal Telecom is the number one brand of Nepal and to remain competitive 
uh, it has to focus on quality service and uh, introduce new services in the market. So we'd like to thank Guruji Sir, Simbin College, Latin American University for providing such innovative assignments. And lastly, our group would like to thank all the students. Thank you.